New year, new money goals. Hey guys, it's Jennifer Diamondesic, where we talk all about money and your millionaire journey. And today's video is about Tiller Money, the automated budgeting spreadsheet that will help you get your 2022 financial goals just that much faster. The automated budgeting tool that more than 90% of our clients use to track their money and build their wealth. So let's dive in so you can see why we love Tiller, why you will too, and how to set up your first Tiller budget in as little as five to 10 minutes. And if you're interested in checking out Tiller for yourself, after this video is over, we've included our Tiller referral link in the description below. I'm a huge believer in using spreadsheets to track your finances. It gives you a level of control and detail with your money that you simply can't get with an app. You can also easily move things around into different buckets. See what happens to your finances, your savings, if you spend more in one category and less in another. We all like things as automated as possible, regardless of whether it's a spreadsheet or not. I mean, that's why we love technology after all, right? And that's why we are Tiller Money fans. First, Tiller lets you link all your financial accounts, all your transactions and balances are automatically downloaded daily. So you can link all your checking accounts, savings accounts, credit cards, student loans, and even your retirement accounts. Here's an example of my Tiller sheet where I've linked some of my bank and credit card accounts. The second reason with Tiller Money Fans is because it's so easy to categorize everything properly on your own. And if you're thinking, I don't want something that categorizes everything for me, my answer is this. Those apps that categorize your spending for you, they often do it wrong. I can't even tell you the number of times my auto insurance was categorized as auto and gas, or groceries as dining out. The other and more important reason in my mind for categorizing everything yourself is because it forces you to come face to face with what you're really spending your money on, where all your hard earned dollars are going. In fact, the process of categorizing every dollar that's spent is often enough of a wake up call for most folks that they're overspending. And even better, it shows them where they're overspending so they know where to cut back on so that they can start putting away a bit more each month. The third reason we like Tiller Money is that it's so simple to create a monthly budget and get an overview of your balances and net worth. Tiller Money is truly the best automated spreadsheet budgeting and expense tracking tool that we've found so far, and that's why we're such avid users. If you want to test it out, I've included the Tiller Money link below this video for you to try it out for a bit. The first 30 days with Tiller are free, and after that, it's $79 a year. The remainder of this video will walk you through how to set up your account and get started with your first Tiller budget. Tiller runs on Google Sheets. So yes, you will need a Gmail account to sign up with Tiller. So if you don't have one, go ahead and grab one first. To set up your Tiller account, click on start your free trial and log in with your Gmail address. This will bring you to a page that looks like this. And if you accept the terms and conditions, the payment page asking for your credit card details will pop up. You'll only be charged if you decide to continue with Tiller after your 30 day free trial. That's plenty of time to see whether Tiller works for you or not. Here, you see some of the bank and credit card accounts that I've linked to Tiller. My Chase and Citibank credit cards were updated yesterday. So to see the latest transactions, I'm going to click on refresh and Tiller will pull in all the transactions that were made between yesterday and today. And if I wanted to add a new account, I click on this button here. Let's pretend that I have a new Bank of America account. I'd simply type in Bank of America and Tiller will bring me directly to my Bank of America login screen where I have to input my username and password. For those of you worried about security, Tiller uses a financial technology company called Yodli to connect your financial accounts. Yodli has been around since 1999 and has over 35 million users and 1400 companies on its platform. Tiller and Yodli only give you access to your financial information. No money can be transferred via Tiller or Yodli, so your money is still safe wherever it's at. Now, let's get started with the Tiller budget setup. 
scroll up above account summary and click on start with Google Sheets under create a spreadsheet. That will bring up the screen. Click on use template. There's this two minute setup video that you can watch. I personally find the video super confusing and not very helpful, but you're welcome to watch it if you want. When this document add-ons box pops up, click on use, then link sheet and add the accounts that have been linked. Tiller's now pulling in all my transactions from my linked accounts. On this box here, click on AutoCAD to install it. I'll walk you through shortly on how to use AutoCAD. It's a really handy feature. Once the transactions from all my linked accounts have been pulled in, here on the top section of the Tiller Quick Insights tab, the first tab, there's a quick overview of my assets, liabilities, and net worth, which look pretty bad in this example. I have no assets and a ton of debt. Scrolling down, you'll see that I can set the viewing period to the last 12 months or for any other period I'd like from the pull down menu. I'm going to go with last month. And what happens then is that Tiller will pull together from last month my top 10 inflows, my top 10 outflows, which accounts have had the most activity, and the places where I spent my money most frequently. Pretty neat, huh? Now I'm going to start categorizing all those transactions that Tiller pulled in from my linked accounts. Let's categorize Gregory's Coffee as restaurants and the MTA as transportation. Here you see there's a lot of charges from Amazon. This is where the handy AutoCAD feature that I installed earlier comes in. AutoCAD makes categorizing regular recurring transactions a piece of cake. Click on the AutoCAD tab to the left of the Transactions tab. So I'm going to give Tiller instructions that anything with Amazon in the description should be categorized as groceries. Now I go back to the Transactions tab to the right of AutoCAD and click on Add-ons, Tiller Money Feeds, Open Sidebar, AutoCAD, Run AutoCAD, and there you go. All the Amazon transactions are now categorized as groceries. Here's another AutoCAD example. If we assume that everything I order from Amazon Marketplace is for home improvement, I just type AMZN in the description and where it says assign category, I select home improvement and run AutoCAD again. It's that easy. Here on the categories tab, you'll see that Tiller has preset budgeting categories. You can change or add as many of your own categories as you need. If I rent it instead of own my own place, I would change the mortgage category to rent. Let's start with that budget now. Say that I wanted to create a 50, 30, 20 budget with Tiller. I go to the group column and change Tiller's preset grouping. So phone would now be grouped as a need instead of bills. Same with utilities. Restaurants would be grouped as a want instead of discretionary and so on. Here, I've even set up my savings and debt repayment group. And below that, you see that's where I have my primary income categories. This transfer category here is for when you transfer money between accounts, which includes paying off credit cards because you're presumably transferring money from a savings or checking account to reduce the balance on your credit cards. See how it says January 2021 here? I'm just going to update it to July 2021 because that's the month that I'm going to start budgeting with. And I start by putting in what I expect to spend on my phone, utilities, and then restaurants. You see how simple it is. All the amounts just get copied and pasted to the other months after July. Here, I put in my expected income for July, and again, that number is copied and pasted into the other months. And if I expect a raise in September, bring my monthly paycheck to 3,500, all I need to do is change this in the budget for September, and that change flows through to October, November, and future months. Voila, here's my budget for the next few months. The hardest part really is pulling out all your bills, income, and other spending numbers together. Once you have that information, the Tiller budget takes less than 10 minutes to complete. What I always tell our clients is to simply get started. Take a best guess for the categories that you're not sure of. For example, if you don't know what you spend on groceries or clothes in a single month, just estimate it. Then after the first few weeks or after the first month of expense tracking, when you get a better sense of what you're spending your money on, 
you can make changes to the next month's budget, which is super easy to do with Tiller because if you update one month, those numbers will be copied to the other months after that. Let's go to the monthly budget tab now. Here, I can select which month I wanna see my budget for. Here's the July budget we just worked on. Tiller even tells me how many transactions I've forgotten to categorize for the month. Here in the middle in blue is what I budgeted for my July spending. And in red is what I actually spent. It's easy to see that I'm $218 over budget. To the right of that in blue is what I budgeted for my July income. Unfortunately, I had no income in July, which Tiller also tells me. And finally, here to the far left, the $285 in green is what I had budgeted as my cash flow, the money I had planned to have left over at the end of the month. Instead, Tiller shows me that my cash flow is minus $3,233 because no income came in, meaning I probably dipped into my savings in July or I charged up a ton of stuff on my credit card. This is just an example. Tiller also shows that most of my July spending was on needs. When I scroll down, I'll see what I budgeted for July in terms of needs, wants, and savings and debt versus what I actually spent. The available column on the right is the difference between what I budgeted and what's actual. If what I actually spent is more than what I budgeted, as is the case for groceries, the available column is red and negative. If what I actually spent is less than what I budgeted, as you can see here for insurance, the available column is black and positive. And here you see that 55% of my budget is allocated to my needs, 25% to my wants, and about 20% to savings and debt. It shows 21%, but that's probably just due to rounding error. And if you click on the balances tab, you'll see the balances for all your linked accounts, as well as when the last update was. So, are you ready to take a shot at creating your first Tiller budget? If so, then just click on the Tiller referral link below this video and come back to this step-by-step -step tutorial as often as you need. For some of our clients, just the very process of tracking and categorizing their transactions is enough of a wake-up call to curb their overspending on things that they don't really need. If you find out after 30 days when the free trial ends that Tiller's not really your thing, just cancel it. But if you want to take it one step further, if you really want to give your financial journey the boost it deserves this year, then check out our newly reopened Millionaire Masters course where we'll walk you through the seven money moves that will put you on that path to millionaire status. That link is also in the description below. So happy budgeting. If you enjoyed this Tiller tutorial, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe button. I'll see you again soon with another money-saving, wealth-building video for your millionaire journey.